Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Eon Guardians playthrough so last episode we finished off the Elite Four and become the champion of Terra after beating Logan in a final battle weren't too tough um, today we are now going to start the post game I'm not 100% sure what is available but obviously we've also got a load of quests that we could also finish so let's get into it Pokex I thought you would not get out of bed. Did you sleep well? Eh, um, you weren't too bad. All those battles lately must have been insanely exhausting, am I not right? Give yourself a little rest too. Okay, sweetheart. After all, you're the Pokemon Champion of Terra now. You don't have to prove anything to anyone anymore. Crap, I'm too late. Aqua. Too late for what? Of course, I was about to kick this little snoozer out of bed. I guess some things never change. Pokex, you cra you crazy? You actually did it. You become Pokemon Champion of Terra. This is so incredibly cool. What do you plan to do next? Your sister will now slow things down for the time being. After all, she's just returned. Ah, the hell she will. Now the fun is just beginning. Here, this is what Xavier wants me to give you. What is that? Expedition ticket. Okay. They recently found a nameless island, not far from Terra at all. Everyone's very excited and wants to explore the island. The ferry from Granite Deep City in Coral Town will take you to this island with his ticket. Xavier's waiting for you on the island, so you better not let him wait too long. <coughs> By the way, word has spread that Terra has a new Pokemon champion. I wouldn't be surprised if Pokemon trainers from near and far came to challenge you. So you better not let your training slump Pokex. I will now also set off again. I also have to see this island from close up. I'll see you there for sure. See you soon, champ. Bye, mum. This girl. Looks like I can't stop you anyway. Where do my kids get this sense of adventure? Well, that's exactly why I'm so proud of you two. You have your mind of your own. Take care of yourself, sweetheart. The world out there is yours. Okay, then. So, looks like we're going to a new island. Let's just use the SAS pager. Oh, let's check the berry pots as well, actually. So these need watering. I don't know how three of them need watering and one doesn't. And then what about the other one? No, it's just sprouted. Okay. Alright, SAS pager. And Coral Town. She's down here. So I wonder what we're going to find at this island. Alright, head on in here. Oh, you have a ferry ticket and an expedition ticket too. Do you want to take the ferry to Granite Deep Sea or to the Nameless Island? Definitely Nameless Island. Alright, get ready to board. The ferry will depart shortly. And there we are, flying away on the boat. Have fun exploring the island. Take care of yourself. Oh, there's Xavier. Pokeax, there you are. I was afraid Aqua wouldn't give you the expeditions ticket. Isn't it incredible here? It's like this is a whole different world. How can such an island appear so suddenly? After all, it's not that far south of Terra. Anyway, a lot of Pokemon trainers and researchers have come here to explore this new part of Terra. I thought that the new Pokemon champion of Terra would also would certainly not want to miss this adventure. Come on, let's not wait any longer. There's certainly a lot to discover here. I'll meet you again later. Okay, this statue here was erected as a sign of belonging to the Terra region, but isn't that wrong somehow? We've not even fully explored the island already, we call it our possession. Maybe we should approach things with a little more patience. Yeah, you might not want the island, you don't know what it inhabits. How about a little souvenir photo? After all, it's not every day you enter an ex unexplored territory. We set up a small camp here where Pokemon trainers can take a break. 
Even the Pokemon Center is already being built, so feel free to take plenty of breaks on your exploration tour. We found so many heart scales here, it's incredible. And that on land. I wonder if this island was underwater until recently. In any case, you're welcome to have one of our heart scales here. Thank you. Many young Pokemon trainers plunge headlong into an adventure here. At the same time, the exploration of an unknown territory also holds many dangers. We've been preparing to bail out these struggling Pokemon trainers. Ooh, there's loads of people in here. Oh no, I've really a huge problem. I was privileged to help the Pokemon Rangers cartograph the island, but unfortunately I lost the cartograph device that I received as equipment when I was exploring Mount Ash. The Pokemon Rangers find that I'm sure they won't trust me to do such important work. Good luck and experience, Pokemon Trainer. Nothing will happen to you during an exploration tour for sure. Would you keep your eyes out? Keep your eyes open at Mount Ash for my last cartograph. Bring it back to me, I'll reward you. Okay, well, I wonder what our reward will be. Got some berry syrup. Actually, I was trying to do a quiet internship in the archaeology department of Topaz City's Pokerus Lab, and now I find myself here on an island in the middle of nowhere. Ah, <sighs> yeah. There are so many questions to be answered here. First of all, what prompted the appearance of this island? It can't have always been here, or we would have discovered it much earlier. And next, where did this island come from? <coughs> I don't believe in the theory that it rose from the ocean floor. I mean. Where else would it have come from? These people rushed to the discovery of this island, partly without any prior knowledge of adventure. I don't think if I don't know if I think this is brave or incredibly stupid. And um, it's a bit of both. Well, what have we got in here? A cocoa booster. We first need to cartograph the area sufficiently to ensure everyone's safety. But you can't, but you can forget about stopping adventurers. We certain nothing bad will happen until then. Oh, this man has a very strange colouring. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I wonder what material it's made of. Okay, you can actually like continue up there. We haven't finished exploring yet. So this must be like a... Uh, I thought it was a mark, but it's not. Oh uh, yeah, you are. It'd be rude not to. How have we not got any revives? Right, so we literally spend an all of money. I must immediately discover every centimetre of this island. This is so much more exciting than hiking the explored routes in terror. I'm so excited. I wonder what kind of Pokemon live here. Okay. I don't know why I've healed up because I'm pretty sure we're fully healed, but I suppose if we wipe out at some point it'll bring us back here. This is a new world. We'll train a lot here and become as strong as we can. The sea to the name of this island is a very stormy one. It's not so easy to get here, even when we knew where the island was. Everyone thinks that the island appeared from the sea, but all this ash and vegetation around the expeditions camp. How should all this have been formed underwater? Something here is strange. I wonder what will await us here. Anyway, we are ready for anything. The map of Terra must be revised with the discovery of this island. Ho ho. That I may live to see such a significant event. Amazing. Okay then, so let's carry on. An unknown territory that no man has ever entered before. This will be an adventure beyond compare. This landscape's unique, don't you think? There's nothing comparable on the mainland of Terra. Oh, okay, Route 32, battle. Unexplored, dangerous territory. Are you sure you're strong enough to cross it alone? Do you not know who we are? We are the Terra Champion. Okay then, let's Volt Switch. Go out into... Let's go. Cool. 
drill quick. And hair across. Which we outspeed, thankfully. Alright, you've successfully passed the passport test. There is no such thing as a passport test. We'll be the first to fly over the nameless island. Okay, Pidgey up. That's just going to get Thunderbolt into oblivion. Same star up there. And then, yeah, Pelipper, it's just, it's not looking good for you. You're not scourging me in any way. I'll not give up on my goal. What Pokemon can you actually catch here? Oh, okay, so there's one Pokemon that we haven't actually seen. And we're also not going to see it anytime soon. I don't know which way we want to go. Oh. I've never seen a site like this before. Pokemon Ranger Pedro. Ooh, okay, you got slacking. Let's Volt Switch. Got a feeling you're going to have Earthquake. Hammer. On. It's a good job we didn't go into Lucario. Superpower should KO. Or it doesn't. Mm. Yeah, let's switch. Magmortar. That'll do, that'll do. And then Victory Bell, we can stay in and flame for her. You could almost think this island breathes. Right, I'm going to use a repel. I'm going to go around here, see that there's n nothing here. What about down here? Oh, there's an item there. Have I missed that? It's just a green shard. Now we've got a nature ball. Off to a new adventure. Oh, Manetri versus Manetri. Tor Terra and Earthquake it is. Out comes a bomb of snow, so we'll go Magmorta. Torterra doesn't tend to do well in snow. I think five points should KO. Yeah. And then Snorlax, we can go Lucario. Unless he's got Hammer Arm or Earthquake or something like that. Go for a blaze kick, see if we can get a burn. No, we can't. Just straight up decimates. Okay, we'll go Torterra. EQ. Which it lives. Ah, and you got a full restore. Okay, Giga Drain, which does literally nothing. Something electrified in the air, don't you think?
Ooh. Just about to grab that item. So we got a bunch of bugs. That one gets electrocuted. Um Sizzle doesn't tend to light the fire. I'm gonna catch one or two of these in my collection. Okay, we've got a star piece. Well, I'm just gonna quickly run back and heal and then we will carry on. Okay, and we're back. So we wanna continue this way into this double battle. Double battle's probably gonna be a bit annoying. Politoed and a Medicham. So I think we can KO the Politoed. Not sure about the Medicham though. Oh no, Politoed survived. And Medicham goes for cosmic power. Alright, Politoed's gone. Thunderbolt should KO. And I reckon a map punch will finish off Medicham. Yep, Cloyster's got shocking special defense. Right, and out comes Lucario. So, Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. we got the Paralysis as well. Okay, it weren't too bad. Continue up. And there's another trainer battle. So it seems to be following suit of having loads of battles. Right, we'll Volt Switch. Go out into Magmortar. Then we can go for a Flamethrower. Alright, what you got next? Rhyferia, okay, um, Milotic, which we haven't really used yet, and we can go for Scald, fish for that burn, doesn't matter because we KO it anyway, Kingdra, um, you know what, we don't really have anything for it, We'll just stay in. Ice Beam will be neutral. Does not do a lot though. Ah. Oh, here comes the forward door. Oh, maybe not. Wow, you're so strong. You could easily fight the Pokemon League too. We are the champion of terror. Why are people not realizing this? Okay, we've got a rare candy. And we're at Mount Ash. So we've got Dawnstone. And we need to find. I think it was a cartograph or something, went Something along that line. So we're going to try and avoid some of the battles because we're going to be here forever otherwise. Um, let's go Lucario. This is neutral. Oh, it's resisted actually. Okay, close combat. Up next is Azumarill, so we can go. You know, we'll go Torterra actually. Go for some Giga Drains. And one more. There we go. Nearly back to full health as well. Um, Lapone, we'll go Lucario and Close Combat. I 
how are you going for close combat? Because if if you don't KO it, you're in a pickle. Uh, right, you. We can go for Torterra and Earthquake. Goes for a Flash Cannon. Takes us up to level 70. Hmm, I was hoping to catch you off guard. Oh, we've got protein. Come on, move, that's it. Just double checking, there's nothing down here. Max survive in the rock. Train a battle there. That was like worst timing ever. Okay, a bib roll. At least this is um, water type. Gets KO'd by the Volt Switch. Great. Into Hunchcrow. Dog Trail wants to come out. Okay, we'll go with Milo Tick. Okay, go for a. Surf. Just about survived. Um, Nido King. To be honest, I'm just going to stay. Scold. I think in the next few weeks, the number of visitors will rise sharply. Yeah, it will get more popular, I suppose. Okay, um, hyper potions, and I don't think we need to do any more. Did I click this? Yeah, there's nothing in there. Oh my god, my timing today is terrible. Okay, an absorb. Volt switch. Go out into. Um, no, let's go Hunchbow. Goes for Future Sight, okay. Drill Peck should finish it off. Well, then carrying on up here. We will lead with Milotic since it's a hiker. The toughest of all hikers. I mean, I'll be the judge of that, Michael. Okay, Agron's likely got sturdy. So if we can get a burn, it'd be great. No, we can't. And then last Pokemon, Steelix, which will also scald. Also has sturdy. But uh, that's unfair. To be fair, you did have two strong Pokemon for a hiker, but there's still nothing. Nothing to sink home about. So, what's in here? Uh, okay, you can heal. That's good timing. Woo. The climb up here was more strenuous than expected. Maybe we should go back to the expedition camp after all. On the other hand, now that I'm there. Feel free to take a break and rest a bit. This tent was specially arranged for tired adventurers. Right, looks like the item we need is down there. So we've got two cool trainers who's got Dragonite and Ludicola. So Well Ice Beam you Flame for at you. Dragonite just goes down. Why would you go for Zen Head? But we can go for a grass move or water move. Um. Okay, we'll ice beam 
and switch you for Manetric. Ludicolo actually lived. Alright then, so another Ice Beam and a Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, you got full restore. That probably KOs you. Oh my god. Okay, we'll go into Hunchcrow. Let's drill pick Vaporeon, who also gets four restored. Actually, we'll go for a Night Slash Cud Crit. These two things are so bulky. Okay, I think we finally got rid of them. And then out next comes a Metagross. And a Jinx. Okay, so I'm going to have to heal. Punch crew. And probably take the Jinx out first. Oh, it gets off Blizzard. Okay, out comes Magmata. Go for a Scald and Fire Punch. Got a burn just in case it does live. But it doesn't anyway. So this wasn't that easy of a double battle. Now Scald wants to get all the burns. Oh my god, there's another Pokemon, what? And it outspeeds Magmata, fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna be here a while. I did get a burn on it, however. Milo tick is now down. Out goes Lucario. Close combat. And we outspeed, so that should be all over yet. Whatever the secret is placed, I'll figure it out. Well, to say well done. Okay, well, we're going to need to heal again because we've only got like two members alive. And then we'll grab this item. Which is cartograph. And then we can continue on into oh Ruby Vault. Well that looks like Steven. This type of rock is really fascinating. Never seen anything like this in my entire life. Oh excuse me. How rude of me. I was so absorbed in examining this crystal that I didn't even notice you. You look kind of familiar. Where could I have seen you before? Oh my. You are Pokex, the champion of Pokemon League of Terror. Am I not right? I've already heard about your outstanding qualities. My name is Stephen Stone. I'm the former Pokemon champion of Hoenn. I love collecting rare rocks for a living, so I just had to come to this unknown place. And now I've found not only unknown ores, but also a real Pokemon luminary. I haven't had a strong opponent in a long time. Would you do me the honor? Okay. Right, so, you're level 81, which is a little bit crazy. Thunderbolt, probably not KOing. And you set up a Toxic. You do let Skarmory go down there. Um, Agron, Milotic can deal with. You are also level 82, which is absolutely insane. Didn't quite get the burn there.
I mean, you can keep four restoring, but ultimately you're just burning through them. Okay, um... You know what, we'll full heal. Stone, I shouldn't do too much. I don't think... Yeah, Ice Beam super effective, but... Right, okay, um, what are you weak to? Biting, Lucario. Do not go for Earthquake now or I'm going to be mad. That's resisted. Does close combat KO? Yes it does, perfect. Um, Metagross. Go Torterra. You can guarantee this thing's packing Earthquake. Yep, there we go. Life orbed as well. And you were nice and easy to deal with. Armaldo. We can go my Lotic. We outspeed. And we get the burn. Perfect. And another scroll, there we go. Agron can come back out and also suffer its fate. Oh, you still got more. Okay, so. Milotic ultimately goes down, but it's not the end of the world. Send out Torterra. Go for some Giga Drains. Don't know if we quite live another extra sensory. No, we don't. Not the end of the world. We can go Hunch Crow. Take quite a bit of Stealth Rocks, but then Night Slash. Oh, thank God Jimmy Stone Edge. I can see you didn't become Pokemon Champion in this region without good reason. That was an impressive display of your skills. I've rarely met Pokemon trainers of your calibre. I'm glad to see that people in other regions like Pokemon as much as we do. Here, let me give this as a token of our new acquaintance in an unknown place. A colossal orb. I'll go back to my quarters now. The day has been very long and tiring for me. If you're looking for me, I'll be back here in the Ruby Vault tomorrow looking for rare stones. See you soon. Okay then, well, you know what, we're going to end the episode there. Next episode we will start it from where we first reached the island so we can get the reward for that cartograph and then we will head back into the Ruby Vault and go from there. Thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.